got ourselves body going up versus holy hands quick hodge by the paladin looks like it's only four man big damage out of holy hands just waited took a second blasted everything all at once into the uh, into body i think holy hands was just waiting for that come uh, for that wings together with seraphim you just gotta proc all at once i think you literally got a seraphim proc on that hit literally got a seraphim proc on that hit i don't know if you were planning on it or not gonna be yet more hammers flying out of the body got himself the fey lines gonna be that big defense is coming out for body with that age of stricken holy hands taking a bit of damage walking through the blue lines and body getting resets on those things constantly stunned back into the monk does have himself a little bit of survivability here for brew as well in order to give him a little bit of a damage increase it's gonna be i don't know why he's running chi wave but maybe that's part of the play maybe there's something about it, the chi wave that makes it work get more of that fey lines he just contributed to those lines gonna try to stay next to them if he does damage inside of those lines he might be able to get himself cooled uh actually resets on those fey lines also using vilify in those fey lines can also give him some reduction as well stone onto the monk yet again holy hands doesn't have enough damage does not have the wings to really go for but that is the win join in holy hands does get a couple seconds of surf from the tier set that hasn't got buffed recently still big damage towards the monk the monk looks like he's gonna back up out of there completely he wants to go for heals he wants to go for abilities inside of the fey lines to get resets and i believe with the monk legendary or the fey legendary for monks you do like what eight percent more damage to the target when you fail line them gonna be a big hammer down but holy body could be a big big trouble might need to go for a combo holy hands could go for a bop or bubble just to remove it but looks like you just gotta go standing out in the open getting some recuperation chicago charging out huh wait a second what's going on chicago just charged out wait did they charge out and give cb's use of warlock hellstone to him is that what that was did they run out and be like yo warlock hellstone he's like all right thanks is that what happened he either gave us a word of advice or passed him something i'm not really sure what but it's gonna be a flash of light for holy hands so body might actually be able to use the bop and forbearance to maybe make a play do so much of holy hands the paladin doesn't necessarily need the weapons for some of the biggest verses it's gonna be wings up and running body is gonna bail out of there with a night fave backing up out of there with a soul shape <laughs> body could he actually beat a paladin playing a pandaren night fave i mean i think he could I believe. I believe in the dream. I believe in the cleave. I believe in the unorthodox covenant choices. Big damage up to Holy Hands. It's going to be Shield of Vengeance popping up, but it's going to be Aegis. Actually, not Aegis Stricken. No mind. It is Aegis. I think he has an Aegis set up with the wings of Holy Hands. Going to be Holy Hands getting those Seraphim procs from the tier set. Getting a little bit of value. Also getting those resets on the. Um, Potentially the Wake of Ashes, they got the four piece body, kind of lowish on health. Next Hodge by Paladin could be pretty big. It's going to be potentially bubble. Holy Hands going for the bubble body, better have an out somehow. He's going to back up under there completely as he got sent with a hand of hindrance. Holy Hands, I think, tried to pick up another Soul Stone. <laughs> Maybe. As he got, it does get out of combat with body. I think that thing should go on cooldown at this point. Did so much of Holy Hands as they do get Seraphim. He's going to get him some Wake of Ashes with a stun body potentially could take a lot of damage that zuan could set him up for something big though it's gonna be body with that karma as holy hands does get wing sprock there's gonna be a lot of damage reverse back into holy hands hand and frame to keep him moving away from fist of fury big whirling dragon punch by the monk got himself the four brew Ooh, big kick no touch of death does end up taking him out playing a night fight and it's not holding him back at all with chicago joining in got that sky fury got some kind of a cheesy burst going on here sky fury dropping him the Ghost Raptors getting a couple bites in. Do Ghost Raptors do magic damage? Is Sky Fury buffing that? By the way, I wonder. Body looks to swing around. Does get a quick kick onto the Sky Fury, eliminating it. That's going to be more Night Fey Fey. Lions Fist of Fury on Chicago as they go for a trick with a wall. As Body backs up out of there. Chicago getting himself a little bit of value. Body again just trying to stay in the Fey Lions and try to get a Vilify to get resets. There's going to be Sky Fury down. Body wants to swing around for that Sky Fury. But that's how Chicago is going to bait him out in the open. Does get a quick jab. That's going to be Fey Lions back down. With the Fist of Fury versus Chicago. Chicago looking for a little bit of healing. Does get a lot of health recovery. Body looking to back up out of there. Body looking for that recuperation. Got Karma back up very, very soon. It looks like five seconds. Big zaps out of Chicago. Quick eight cap by body as the Ghost Raptors join in. That's going to be a lot of mail for Chicago. Body better have an answer because those next zaps could be pretty massive. That's going to be potentially a primordial wave onto body. If he does get primordial, he better remove it immediately as soon as possible. Chicago swinging around again. Sky Fury back up. Ghostos could join in. Lexium onto the Machaman with the Fist of Fury to follow. Does Chicago live this actually? Oh, wait, that's actually. Oh my god, the burst out of the Night Fae Monk. 
My goodness. What the? He got some burst, dude. This guy bursts you like as if he is a Necrolord. That's almost like a BDB. What was that damage? I guess he that was Monk without a Zuen. So it wasn't even full burst. That's going to be big karma. So you must Cody. You must Cody take a lot of damage. He's going to have to go for every defensive, but still just getting rampaged on by body, even though he's the one to mean, mean to rampage. Karma down for body. Could be in big, big trouble. He was going to try to see if he could get out next to him. Potentially could be a ring of peace. Knocking Scooty out. He's trying to see if he might be able to get next to body. He's going to be blazing so him, keeping him in place, keeping him moving. Still reckless as own, but it's gonna be Fist of Fury Perry Big Epic. Oh, oh, oh. He knocked, he killed him with a night free stomp. He killed him with a little stompy boy. What is this? What is going on? Is body just like a god at monks? Just the greatest monk you've ever seen, and you're just playing night free just because, like, you know what? I kinda like soul shape sometimes. Gonna be the four bird really early. A CB is just sending him to the shower room, making him walk the plank, walk the long, long line. I see barrage them with the bolts and hand of gold Slapping him around with those hands. Body is going in for vivifies, just going for a self heal. Maybe waiting for resets on his abilities and actually maybe just focusing on the pet. He's waiting for something. He's waiting for something. He's gonna see the tyrant or, yeah, the tyrant starting to poke his head out for a second, backing up out of there completely. He literally just survived the damage out of CBZ. He was just healing right through it. Either trolling or maybe he's just trying some kind of other tactic. I think he's really just trying to reset his uh, Fey line. I think that's literally what he was trying to do the whole time. Body got a big old leg sweep. Fey line with the images. Gonna be big Fist of Fury. CBZ does wall off this damage. A lot of defensiveness for this Warlock. With a quick fear onto Body. He doesn't really run too far. Tyrant joining in. Potentially, if he has a full stun setup, the Tyrant needs to line inside in order to get some big damage. It's going to be uh, Falgar joining in, but Body is basically behind the pillar. That's going to be more Demon Doggers, but he does separate the pets away from that uh, Obelisk. Body going for Ring of Peace in order to boom these pets away from him. Trying to go for a bit of Vivify fight to catch up. That's going to potentially maybe an interrupt towards the Tyrant. That's going to be Fellord on the other side. Not letting him really go that far. Looking for that knockdown in capital CB Zeus. Maybe hoping to get a stun on everybody. That's going to be Fist of Fear flying, but that stun is going to interrupt him. Does get the image is in there. That's where body is. It just gonna go for a heal. I think he's trying to see if it might be able to get interrupted by CB Zeus. Got that night fey ley line with an interrupt on shadow. Big morning jacket punch. Another line with an with a karma to follow. Body trying to see if he can capitalize on that karma. That's gonna be CB Zeus doing some damage with the Zeon bolts. That karma is gonna really rot him down. That's gonna be C pod does body. I think body is just gonna let that C pod do its thing. I think he realized the last second. It was like, wait a second. <laughs> I saw a poke out for a second looking at me like, uh-uh, okay, we're just gonna have to go again. We're just gonna have to go again. See if he's just getting a chance to come back. <laughs> Body just committed as much as he could with that karma, backed up out. I think expect for iFrox to rush him. And he was probably like, wait, why is this demon still hitting me? Poked out. In cap with a stun a little bit early for body, but it's actually not the worst. Mortal Kombat Psychobo is gonna be hit by CB Zeus. Got a Lexi pin, but actually gonna be a trinket. CB Zeus is gonna battle out of there as body drops down a fey line, but isn't able to really capitalize on it. Try to see if he can catch up towards CB Zeus again. Try not to use too many cooldowns though. So Rod getting set up on the monk, potentially a port. Hannah Gold Downs joining in. Body's just gonna stay in there. Looks like he's gonna go for a diffuse magic. That's gonna be a, a obelisk. Let the obelisk do work. Body's actually gonna get himself super low in health. CBZ with no health whatsoever. Cheap burst. Is that gonna be enough? Zuan looking to claw him down. Body back it up out of there. That's gonna interrupt it on nature. It's gonna get himself a couple more vivifies. CBZ think it's gonna be down for the count. Got the images back in there with a big old kick. Letting the images finish him off. With iFox eating a karma immediately. Stun onto body. I don't know if body has much really to work with here. Got the fade line versus iFox. Used to catch him with the Fist of Fury. Does get to quick disarm onto iFox. That's gonna also gonna be Aegis Streak and body to bail out of the immediately and start go for as much self heal as possible. I don't know if this man got that much survivability. That raptor swinging around the corner. Coordinated assault is going to give him more damn. In cap onto iFox. As he sends out the death shocker, it's going to be grenade. The seed pot is there unless iFox is unable to kill the seed pot right now. I think it might be able to come back and I think it might be over. No, there's no way. Unless you set up maybe like a ring of peace ahead of time. There isn't really much you can do about it. And Turbo is going to be up next. Body just popped off and body these boys. Yo, body. You want to pop in a Discord? I can give you a quick roll. Turbo is going to get blasted out by the Death Shocker. I'm looking to walk away from my Fox. It's going to be a lot of damage. It's going to go for a port. Camera kind of bugged out on this man. But it's going to drop down Mortical. It needs to get all the dots over on the Hunter. Getting your way and everything. iFox does have current charge him so you can remove all those dots easily. But Turbo this is going to be quite a tough match. 
with as much damage as they can. Dark Pack getting used up. It's going to summon Dark Lair, but he doesn't have big dots on the Trifox at all. Got a little bit of that drain. Alessia able to catch up a lot of health. Trying to go for Malefic Rapture, but not a lot of dots are on iFox. Maybe on the pad. Chirpa getting interrupted on Shadow. It's going to be able to Night Face Soul Ship out of there. Trying to get your ways onto iFox. As a hunter is going to take some damage from this man. But not much you can really do about it. Dark Glare is zapping out the pet, if anything. Turbo needs to get those dots out of iFox and find a way to re-dot him as soon as he goes for Faint Death. Try to get those dots rolling back in there. Maybe we can go for a bit of a heal with the pet. Trying to drain life the pet, but the kill shot taking him out. Not really giving him much opportunity. We got Grizz over on the other team as well as the Destruction Warlock. We got Chill Pose. We got Seavar as the Arcane Mage. Is he going to give iFox the opportunity to recover? It looks like he is. iFox almost got a full reset. Trying to go Mirza Troma into the pet. Getting Mirza Troma into the pet is actually fantastic. Ifox can remove it. And the pet, as long as it attacks Seavark, it is going to give him regular Mirza Troma procs. Unless Ifox just does no kill commands at all. And maybe that's exactly what this pet is going to go for. Ifox is just going to lose out on that pet damage. The pet stun is going to be the kill commands. It is going to proc more miss out procs for Seavark. It's to try to go for a little bit of survivability. Try to go for the biggest burst versus Ifox. Does get disrupted. Cannot get CC'd for a bit. Could potentially be the biggest damage possible. Missiles flying out. Not some miss out procs. Seavark taking a lot of damage. Ice block. I'm not sure what happens to those missiles does ifox remove the missiles can ifox remove the clear casting procs from seamark is that what happened because it looked like seamark was trying to set up for a big missile setup touch the magic but i think maybe ifox faint death it maybe that's what happened but it's going to be seamark super low on health not much you can do he just left i guess the hunter with a craven stratagem legendary there's only so much you can do i don't blame the man it's a matchup it's difficult to win Chilpas looking to a dome down. Ifox goes for Tricket with a turtle shell immediately. Chilpas is going to be able to barrage and rampage onto that pet. Try to avoid the freezing trap out of Ifox as best as possible. Yoinking him over with the stun. And Ifox does get claimed into the death itself. Well done. Body with a 1v4. Lots of healing. Let's go. My man. What the? Body? Yo. Give me a champion roll there for 1 4, man. There you go, my guy. <laughs> Yo, that was awesome, body. So why do you play Night Fae? I'm actually very interested. I would like to...